Multiple earthquake disasters strike. And as the pressure continues to build to the west coast, a 5.0 strikes Alaska as evacuations are happening. Authorities in western Alaska have evacuated hundreds of people away from the coast. But something far stranger than that is happening. From Kansas to Kentucky and across the world. Did y'all fucking feel that about a minute, two minutes ago? It felt like all of reality just shifted. And we're going to come back and talk about a huge earth shift that just happened. But first, but something weird is happening in Kentucky and Kansas. OK, I need to show you guys my lamp because this is important to the story. So hold on. This is my lamp. OK, so I was woke up just right before 3 a.m. to the ground shaking. Now, I live in Manhattan, Kansas. There were no earthquakes anywhere near us. All right, weird question, but have your cats acted strange today or even your dogs? My cats usually only get like this when bad weather's coming and today they have been off the chain. Okay, look right here. All the animals that was just mentioning that we're showing can sense natural disasters coming. So we need to unravel something deep. So now it's time to find out what all these warning signs mean as we face multiple Earth disasters. Something weird is happening to the Earth's magnetic field. It's weakening. And on October 5th from Grove Heights, Minnesota, Joe Fisher had a video of the sky turning oranges red. This shocked local residents, some even saying I have personal video, it really got that orange. But something stranger happened two days after this. And people started reporting feeling this unexplained feeling in their body. Did y'all feel that? About a minute, two minutes ago, it felt like all of reality just shifted. Did you get dizzy? What the f is going on? First of all, have you been experiencing this? Second of all, I need you to come over here and look at something. So right here, look at where the magnetic field is weakening. We can explain a little bit of what potentially is happening. This huge point is right there, that south area of the United States, going all the way up and it's in Latin America. They did experimental theoretical studies on subjects about magnetic field changes. And what they found that from mild to severe, subjects were experiencing dizziness due to magnetic field changes so could this be the reason why people's animals and erratic behavior has been seen all across the world or is there something else to it my cats usually only get like this when bad weather is coming and today they have been off the chain by that i mean constant zooming just everywhere and they only do that before bad weather comes i'm in kentucky as far as i know Nothing's supposed to be coming our way, but my cats say otherwise. So are your pets acting weird today? What I found next in the heartland of the United States is even more concerning because it's been unreported and we need to figure out what is going on here. OK, I need to show you guys my lamp because this is important to the story. So hold on. This is my lamp. OK, so I was woke up just right before 3 a.m. to the ground shaking. Now, I live in Manhattan, Kansas. There were no earthquakes anywhere near us this morning, um, last night, however you want to look at it. But I thought I was losing it. I showed you my lamp because you see the little things hanging. They were all swaying on mine and my husband's lamp. And my water bottle was shaking. On my sink, I have like a small, it's called an ecosphere. It's a little bitty shrimp ball with water in it. It was shaking. So I looked online and apparently at the same exact time, there was a very, very, very small earthquake in Vegas. Okay, if you look right here, Vegas is about 16 hours away from Kansas. So even if it shook in Las Vegas, there's no way it could have reached all the way there. It shook for a good five minutes. And I thought, I, I genuinely, like it spooked me, guys. Um, did anybody else feel that? And guess what we found? A lot more people who felt this as well, even in other states. That's why you need to stop and hit subscribe right now because nobody else is investigating or talking about this. Let's get back to this though. People in Texas said they were feeling that. What do you feel in the comments? Did you feel this on October 16th? The story gets deeper here. Yeah. 
just neighbors talking. Yeah. And the El Paso, Texas eyewitness thought that they heard thunder that was horrible, but they felt their house shake and their neighbors also felt that they said. I need to tell you something about this because this could be potentially catastrophic. Is this a super sheer earthquake? Because that's the only type. Yes, it can travel from state to state. They just warned of this in California in the San Andreas Fault area. They're not warning us about this in the heartland of the United States. Blanchard, Oklahoma. You can see there once was a pond here. Now that's gone, there's even fish lying here. The roadway about 150 feet has disappeared at this point. It looks like a crater in the middle of the road. What makes this even more devastating is that already happened before the Texas situations. But super sheer earthquakes can collapse roads and then ruptures travel for miles. And why this is going to shift and get worse. If you look here in Vegas just last month, the ground is shifting. In the dining room, there's a massive crack. We can see where it's separating. I mean, we can see inside the wall. They have repaired it twice. It has come back each time and it gets worse every time. The cracks here are on both sides of the wall? That's correct, both sides of the wall. And you can see the separation here. In the kitchen, the floor tiles are separating. So if this is three to four years, what is this gonna look like at 10 years? It, that's the worry, that's obviously the concern, and it's getting worse. And this is next to the super sheer earthquakes that was warned about in California and Oregon. But what I'm about to tell you next is by far the worst disaster incoming. And I found out from a Louisiana manager of properties that has just found this out that's going to be put underneath the earth and all of us around america need to listen closely hey it's me carla with tigerland properties please stop what you're doing you need to hear this watch this video and share this message to everybody you know something dangerous is happening right under our feet and it's called carbon sequestration ccs it's carbon capture and storage they're trying to force it on us whether we want it or not Here's what that means. They want to take CO2, turn it into liquid, and pump it deep underground beneath our homes, our land, and even our water source, and leave it there for hundreds of years. Now, you might think this is something we've always had. We've had pipelines forever. What's the big deal, right? Well, this is not like the pipelines you're used to. These CCS pipelines are completely different. They go much deeper into the ground. They store toxic pressurized gas and they operate under much higher pressure than oil or natural gas wet lines. If one of these leaks, this, that CO2 doesn't just spill, it explodes outward and suffocates everything in its path. It literally pulls the oxygen out of the air. People, pets, wildlife, nothing can survive in the zone. And Louisiana is the worst possible place to put this kind of experiment. We've got fault lines, we've got earthquakes, and we've got sinkholes. Louisiana is not built for this. So you're doing justice a favor to get this message out, but I don't think you understand that they just put it on hold, meaning that that's going to be something they come back to do. That's why just three days ago, that property manager came out to pour her heart and soul into everything she does. And when the rupture zones start to get collapsed over there and that opens up, that is loss of life, which we want to avoid because something strange is happening 1,700 miles below the earth and scientists don't know how to figure this out because now seismic waves are traveling at a different accelerated rate than they have before. The D layer and it's something where the magma interior areas are shifting and moving about. This has been discovered through seismic interactions that they have recorded inside of the surface layers deep below the earth. This tells us that the magnetic shift also is weakening and lets us know that this cycle is in a new phase. This chapter will mark a new point of the cycles of history that has returned. That is another cycle that happens again and again. And that gives us a closer time period to potentially where we're shifting towards and we're going to give you that timeline but your local deer your local animals the unusual activity of the birds all this we need from you in order to track what's really going on the awareness and preparedness of us can alter our society to prepare us is not to be worried 
to have the knowledge together as a community, to bring back what it is to be more connected is what we're doing. Here is one of the top three key warning signs though that you need to probably start to move from your area. And if you don't want to go anywhere, I get it. Frogs disappearing, snakes disappearing, and also you no longer see birds. All three of these are natural disaster animals who sense what's coming. And these three signs will tell you if you just walk out in nature and you get this and you watch observance activity, this is what the ancients did. And that's how they knew what was to come. And if you're looking for disaster shelters that you can get on your own property or wherever you're at to be shipped to you, look in the top of the comment section. But if you made it this far, I'm telling you, a hidden piece to the story is here. They don't want you to know, they don't want you to survive it.